गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल एज वी हैड कम्प्लीटेड चैप्टर रीडिंग ऑफ चैप्टर फोर वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम इन अवर लास्ट क्लास एंड टूडे वी विल कम्प्लीट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस लेसन एंड वर्ड मीनिंग्स ऑल्सो सो लेट्स मूव देयर स्टूडेंट्स आई टेक सम Uh, word meanings which you have to write in your notebook and you all have to learn it also first one is attempt attempt means an act of trying to do something next is bloom which means become fully open to be full grown next is collect which means to bring things together next is foolish which means silly next is mumbling which means speaking or saying something in a way that is not clear next is ridiculous very silly softly in a soft way to and fro which means backward and forward value which means importance whole which means full complete students you all have to make sentence of these given words also in your notebook by yourself not these sentences you all have to write actually make a complete sentence using these words by yourself now move to the question and answers here is here we are in question and answers so these two questions i've given you as an as your homework do you value time tell the class how you do so so the answer will be that yes i value time i plan my day well and i lot i a lot time for various activities like studying playing etc i told you all to give the answer of this question by yourself and you all had given it very well next is when do you play with your friends so you can write i play in the evening from 5 to 6 that is correct time for playing next question is multiple choice questions first question is on which day of the week is mala playing in the park so the correct answer is monday sunday saturday yes it's sunday next question is mala makes a face when her mother calls her because she is angry unhappy or happy yes she is angry now let's move to the question and answers next is written read an answer first question is what reason do the aunts give to mala for not playing with her now let's move to the answer here is the answer students aunts tell mala that they are busy collecting food for winter if they play with her they will have no food for winter i hope you all understood now let's move to the next question here is the question number 2 why do bees have to work on a sunny day now let's move to the answer here is the answer number 2 bees have to work on sunny day because flowers bloom only on a sunny day now here is the question number 3 why does mala's mother get angry with mala Here is the answer students 
Mala's mother gets angry with Mala because she does not attend school. She also has not started studying for her test tests. It's S, okay? Tests. Nor has she completed her assignments. Now, question number four. What does Mala promise at the end of the play? What does Mala promise at the end of the play? Do you know the answer? Yes, let me tell you right one. Here is the right answer. Mala promises at the end of the play that she will spend her time properly and not waste it. I hope you all have written the answers. Now let's move to the next exercise, which is think and answer. First question is, why does Mala not want to go to the school? Why does Mala not want to go to the school? Let's move to the answer. Here is the answer. Mala does not want to go to school because she has not done her homework and she has not memorized the poem for recitation competition. Mala does not want to go to school because she has not done her homework and she has not memorized the poem for recitation competition. Let's move to the next question. Here is the next question. Why do the aunts not pay attention to Mala? And the answer is the aunts do not pay attention to Mala because they are busy with their work of collecting food for winter. Next question is, what lesson do you learn from the play? And here is the answer. I learned the lesson that time is valuable. We should not waste it. Full stop. And next question is, question number four, you have to memorize six poems during your summer vacations. How do you plan to do so? Take the best option. Here is the first option. You wait for the last few days. You plan a timetable to memorize the poems. You forgot. You forget about the poems. Which one is correct? Yes. Answer number B is correct. Option number B is correct. Move to the next exercise, which is reference to context. Read this sentence and answer the questions that follow. But isn't that ridiculous? This is the sentence. Now, the question related to this sentence is, who said these words and to whom? Let's move to the answer. Answer is, Mala said these words to the aunt. Next question is, what does that refer to? Here is the answer. That refers to the food which the ants were collecting for winter. Next question is, why did the speaker say this? And here is the answer. Mala said these words as she thought that the ants were so early in collecting the food as winter was far away. Full stop. Next question is, what happened next? Here is the answer. The ants continued with their work. 
Now move to the hot questions, higher order thinking skills question. Oh, it was a dream. I am so thankful. Why was Mala thankful that it was a dream? So here is the answer of this hot question. Mala was thankful that it was a dream because now she still had time to study. Now students, let's move to the exercise. Here is the exercise. Listen. It is Pooja's birthday, but Pooja's mother has been suffering from fever for four days. So Five of her friends want to give a surprise party to Pooja. Listen carefully and match who brought what for the party. So, this is your assignment which you have to complete by yourself. You can take help from page number 156 and complete this match. Now, move to the next exercise. Speak. Repeat after the expert. Pen, send, read, let, head, message, hen, bed, metal, when, melt, bread. Grammar. Preposition. Words like in, on, under, before, beside, near. Tell us where things are on the place where you can find them. Where did you keep my books? I kept them in your bag. So in this exercise, we will understand that what are prepositions. We will understand about, in, on, under, before, beside, near. The use of all these words. Here is the exercise. Where is the elephant? Look at the pictures and fill in the blanks with correct prepositions from the box. Here we have to pick up the correct preposition and put here. So the first question is, the elephant is sitting dash the sofa. So which is the correct answer? In, up, under, from, under, on, between. Yes, it's on the sofa. Next is, it is sitting dash the mouse and the cat. Yes, it's between. Next is, it is peeping dash the door. It is peeping from the door. Next is, it has now Come out and is hiding dash the table. Hiding? Yes, under the table. It is climbing dash the ladders. Climbing up the ladder. It is now sitting dash the box. Sitting in the box. Now, here we are in determiners. A few, a little. Read this sentence. There are a few birds on the tree. When nouns are small in number, even if they can be counted, we use a few before the nouns. Examples. A few birds, a few sweets, a few flowers. Sometimes when things are in a small quantity, we use a little. A little is used before uncountable nouns. Examples, a little water, a little air, a little juice. Now, Nita wants to arrange a few red flowers and a few white flowers in a transparent glass vase. Help her to do it using a little and a few. So here we will understand that the use of a few, a little in the next exercise. So here is the exercise student. Put dash water in the was.
put a little a little water in the boss next is put dash red flowers in it put a few very good next is now put dash white flowers in the center again a few next is add dash salt in the water add a little next is you can also add dash red color to the water again a little now put this was in the on the table the red color water makes it look beautiful now let's move to the next exercise which is learn new words there were here in this exercise you have to fill in the blanks with in on near between and up there were many books dash the table so can you tell me which is the right answer yes on the table next is the big tree grew dash the river so the answer will be near the children played dash the park played yes in the park rumi ran dash the stairs up the stairs the child sat dash her parents between her parents and here i have learned the value of time scene 4 the word value can be best replaced with honesty importance or truth which is the right answer students can you tell me that yes it's importance now students here is your assignment so first one is complete exercise of page number 48 as i told you next is write and learn word meanings in your notebook you have to write and you have to learn the word meanings and you have to make sentences next is write all the exercise question and answers in your notebook you all have to complete exercise question and answers in your notebook write two pages of cursive handwriting book that's all for today's class students we will meet in our next class till then take care good day